faith seems weak, renew your inner man. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 through 18. Therefore, we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is renewed, is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. The Apostle Paul, describing uh, his ministry and what he faced in his ministry, the hardships, the difficulties, he says, as we saw yesterday, that he maintained that same spirit of faith and therefore whatever he believed, he kept speaking, he kept declaring the gospel and declaring who Jesus Christ is, no matter what situations he faced. And as he continues in his uh, uh, sharing of his life and ministry, he says in the verse we read today, he says, therefore, we do not lose heart. That means we don't give up. We don't quit. We don't back off. We, we don't lose heart. So he says, even though our outward man is perishing, you know, yes, there are things that are happening to the outside. Yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. So here's the key. When we are going to things that seem to weaken our faith, that seem to you know, want to weaken our believing in God, we choose not to lose heart. How? We let our inward man be renewed day by day. Outside things may be difficult, but the inner man is being renewed day by day. How do we renew our inner man? And you and I, we renew our inner man by spending time with God, listening to His Word. Reminding ourselves of who God is to us and who God is in, in the context and given the situations. That God is unchanging. His promises are true. That what He has spoken to us concerning our lives, concerning uh, our things that concern us, whether it's family, whether it's um, finances or situations, whatever you're believing God for, that promise of God has not changed. And so we renew our inner man by staying focused on God, by feeding our inner man with His Word, by praying, spending some time just praying before Him, worshiping Him. As your inner man is strengthened, then no matter what's happening around you, you will not lose heart. And you're able to keep your eyes fixed, not on things which are seen, because those are temporary. But you're able to look at what is unseen. You're able to look at who God is and what He is working and the purposes that He is unfolding and the promises that He is causing to be fulfilled in your life. You're able to look at those things and stay encouraged in your journey. So remember, when faith seems weak, don't quit. Renew your inner man. Strengthen your inner person in God by His Word, through prayer, through worship, by talking to Him, by fixing your eyes on things unseen. Stay strong on the inside. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you'll help us renew our inner man. Though on the outside there may be challenges, there may be difficulties, though our outward man may be perishing, that God, we pray, the inner person will stay strong, stay renewed through fellowship with you and your word. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.